How's it going everyone? This is Jordan from California Surveying and Drafting. Today we're going to do a quick tech clip on a dented can inspection. I scanned this can of air in my office, I dented it against my desk, and then we're going to do an inspection on the change in Geomagic Control. I used an Artec AVA handheld 3D scanner to collect the data with its Artec Studio OEM software, and then like I said, we're going to pull that into Geomagic Control to take a look at the uh, change. So the Artec AVA I'm using here has a range of 400 millimeters to 1,000 millimeters. That's why you don't see it on the screen there in the bottom right corner, but that is a shot of me scanning it. If you need something smaller, they make a spider that has a 170 millimeter to 300 millimeter range for uh, much smaller objects. This is actually probably more in the spider's realm. So I'm just moving around this object here, starting and stopping the scanner uh, from itself. There's a button thumb press that allows you to start, stop, and pause the scanner. Got to reposition it as needed. Vice grip wasn't being super friendly with the top of this thing, although I was only really interested in the cylinder itself. And then we just continue scanning here. One last little movement here, I think. Just catching that back part of the can. And we'll be done with the reference scan. Moving into the software now, you can see I can highlight and view the individual scans themselves. Just click in the little eyeball. This is Artex Studio. When I go in, you can look at the individual frames. These scanners all work by capturing frames. I can look at the individual frames just by scrolling up and down. Some of the frames have texture with the uh, onboard camera. You can see there. From this, we're going to move into alignment. Now, I'm going to fast forward through this because this takes you know eight to ten minutes of alignment here. But essentially, we're just picking common points and allowing the software to help us put these individual scans together. And then we'll move on to actually cleaning out some of this scan data so that we can actually make it into a usable mesh. We're only interested in the can itself. So we just use some of the tools here in Artec Studio to clean out some of the data we don't need. There's some pretty cool plain cutoff tools that allow you to just, I love when you're scanning in a vise here, we can just come all the way up to the surface, delete everything below it. And kind of clean up around the base of the can. Super simple workflow, super easy to use software. Finish placing these bottom pieces because we had moved the object here. Final alignment. And then we move into just creating some meshes. So just a real simple outlier removal. Let the software do a lot of the work for you. We can go into making a quick mesh as a preview, and you can sharpen that mesh up by refining it. And we'll go in and fill some of these holes. And make sure that this is a watertight mesh that we can use as our reference moving forward. For this application, we don't need to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and apply the photos and texturize this uh, mesh. Just looks really cool. For our inspection application, we absolutely don't need to do this. We're going to export this to an STL file and import it into a Geomagic Control here. Before we go into Geomagic Control, I'm just going to show you that I did do this twice. After I dented that can, we went through and scanned it again and created a test subject that can be exported to Geomagic Control. So I've got both of these guys in Geomagic Control now. You can set one as the test and one as the reference. I use the word scan there, but these are really just meshes. Geomagic Control is awesome because it does this best fit alignment. We've used this for precast concrete. We've used it for a bunch of different stuff. I'm actually not clicking anything here. This is the software moving these objects around and finding that best fit alignment. It's very difficult on a cylindrical product. 
So we got this 3D comparison here. What we're always interested in in engineering is these cross sections. So it shows us the not only the 3D but the 2D cross sections on all these objects, where the reference was and how it moved. Geomagic is just absolutely amazing when it comes to reporting. Uh, very intuitive, robust, detailed reports here, all exported, completely customizable. Very easy to use, very easy to see, very easy to understand. Just great software all the way around by Geomagic. So just a quick tech clip. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, get in touch with us.